Hello subscribers, welcome to Stomatics tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss Cauchy Squats Inequality. Cauchy Squats Inequality Statement For any two random variables x and y, prove that expectation of xy whole square less than or equal to expectation of x square into expectation of y square. Suppose if you can take any two random variables x and y, you have to prove in case of Cauchy Squats Inequality expectation of xy whole square less than or equal to expectation of x square into expectation of y square. Let us write the given thing. What they have given given x and y are two random variables. So let us consider uh, expectation of x plus ty whole square greater than or equal to 0. So let us consider this one. From this only we are going to get a Cauchy squares inequality. So uh, we know that a plus b whole square equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. So substitute that expectation of x square plus 2x ty 2ab plus b square t square y square okay after let us y square greater than or equal to 0 now apply the expectation to each and every term what we will get expectation of x square plus expectation of 2 x t y plus expectation of t square y square greater than or equal to 0 now expectation of x square as it is plus expectation of 2 x t y so we have to remove the constant outside so you already know that expectation of a x equal to a into expectation of x so this formula we have in expectation or else expectation of x is expectation of x only expectation of a constant is constant expectation of c equal to c constant so we have to use this formulas now so what are the constants we are having here 2 and t outside you can write so 2 t into expectation of x y plus again here t square is a constant so you can bring outside t square into expectation of y square greater than 0 so now what does it represents it is in the form of a quadratic equation you have to write the same point which is a quadratic equation or quadratic expression quadratic expression in terms of what in terms of t in t so uh, now how is the expression the expression is positive because it is greater than or equal to 0 so it is not negative that only we will write the expression is this sorry this expression is positive it is always positive is always positive since it is greater than or equal to 0 what is t here where t has complex roots t has complex roots and it is possible t has complex roots only if the discriminant is negative the discriminant is negative only t is complex you can write actually uh, quadratic equation roots how you will get by using minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2f or else using the discriminant b square minus 4ac equal to 0 actually you will get b square minus 4ac equal to 0 but in order to get t has a complement uh, complex roots the equation of the, the discriminant of this equation must be negative negative means it is we can write like less than or equal to 0 so only the two cases possible either it must be equal to 0 or it must be negative so here you can use the symbol less than or equal to take this as equation 1 now you know that what is the quadratic equation quadratic equation will be like ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 now compare that with equation this equation above equation above quadratic expression so that you will get let let us assume a equal to expectation of x square or you can assume a expectation of y square also your wish expectation of x square b equal to 2 into expectation of x y because uh, sorry a equal to expectation of y square you can take uh, we have to take uh, because a x square so here a is a is expectation of y square and t is x square you can assume so expectation of t square is from this you can take out a let a equal to expectation of y square since here the equation will be compare this equation with the above quadratic expression you will get this format the quadratic expression is in the form of t here the quadratic expression is in the form of x so x square and t square are if you take out now a equal to both are equal means a equal to expectation of y square and b equal to b x is there here so here we are having x in place of x t so remaining will be our b so 2 into expectation of x y is b comma c equal to only a constant expectation of here we have only constant here we have only expectation of x square without a t so you can consider this expectation of x square now substitute this in equation 1 substitute in equation 1 so what do you get v square means 2 into expectation of x y whole square minus 4 into expectation of y square into expectation of x square less than or equal to 0 whole square means 2 whole square means 4 into expectation of x y whole square minus 4 into expectation of y square into expectation of x square less than or equal to 0 next you can send this expression to the left hand side right hand side so 4 into expectation of x y expectation of x y whole square 
less than or equal to this uh, negative uh, sign becomes positive here so expectation of 4 into expectation of y square into x square so y square into expectation of x square here 4 and 4 gets cancelled leftover term is expectation of x x y whole square less than or equal to expectation of x square into expectation of y square you can write expectation of y square first also your wish so this is what now finally we got this equation which represents the cauchy squares inequality hence the theorem is proved expectation of x y whole square less than or equal to expectation of x x square into expectation of y square